is going to be a very professional cast. And I, of course, want to explain to you the format as nicely as possible so that all of you guys in the chat understand it. I, of course, have prepared a professional document explaining how the format works. Um, I think I'm gonna explain it now and then before the match starts I'm quickly gonna uh, give like a conclusion again or like a, you know like a small summary of how, how it's going to work. But here we go ladies and gentlemen. This is the format explanation of the Royal Nation Cup National Qualifiers. As you can see it looks giga good. I, I took all the efforts I could and this is how it looks like. So the way the qualifier is going to work. Basically, uh, players were able to register on the Discord server and players are gonna play alone. They're not gonna play in teams of three, they're gonna play alone. Not like normal Royal, alone. Only one player, guys, okay? Only one player. So, the way it's gonna work. People are gonna play, as you can see, four Royal matches. So, four Royal matches. Um, one Royal match, as a quick reminder, consists of red. One, two, three, four, five maps. And we have four of those five map matches, which means we have 20 maps played overall. Now, in case you guys paid attention in the in-game things, overall there are 10 maps. 20 divided by 10 is 2, which means every map is gonna, play it, is gonna be played twice today. That is uh, kinda important to know. And basically, uh, we're gonna play those four royal matches every map twice and on each map let's just say um, the longer people are surviving with the normal royal format um, the more points they get and the Kira guy who's one of the admins um, also prepared this live leaderboard here so we can uh, it should be updated uh, live so we can always take a look here on how the points are looking uh, you can also see the players here overall we're gonna have 20 players uh, and we have a lot of good players we can maybe quickly go through them later on uh, but yeah, I think the format, it's not too complicated. Do we have any questions for the format? If so, go ahead. And uh, did you guys not understand anything? Because it's, it should be simple. But if you have questions, uh, go ahead. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna solve them now. <laughs> ah. But I think it's, it's pretty obvious, right? Like we play uh, four matches overall. In each match, five maps. And on each map you can collect points, basically. That's about it. Yeah, of course. Kira is also here in case you have any questions. You can also ask him. Shouldn't be too complicated. All right, let's maybe go through the players that we're going to uh, see today. I already um, mentioned quite a few, but uh, overall there are 20 players that registered, which is quite a bit because every national team is only going to consist of three players. So, for example, for uh, yeah, basically every single nation is go only going to have three players. So, only three out of those 20 players are uh, gonna survive today. So it's gonna be really, really stacked. Especially when we look at the names. First of all, we have Doc and Thrasher, uh, who used to play a lot of Royal, I know. Um, they were like some of the best Royal players back in the days. I don't know, honestly, if they are still actively playing Royal. Um, but they definitely came back for this tournament. Uh, according to Lars, um, it wasn't really clear to see if Doc and Thrasher really practiced. Like, maybe they were practicing offline, I don't know. In theory, they are really strong, but maybe they are not as practiced. We gotta, we gotta see. Then we have the Surge Tail guy. Surge Tail um, has been playing Royal for ages, according to my knowledge. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure he's also practiced. So Surge Tail definitely a serious contender. Then we, of course, have the boys themselves. Uh, we have Lars and Marius. Um, Lars and Marius also used to play a lot of Royal, actually with me back in the days. Um, they took a quite... A, they, I, I don't think they played Royal in like one year or so actively, but they practiced for this tournament. Also not too much though, so it's a bit similar to how it is with Doc yeah. and Thrasher. Like in theory, a lot of potential, but we don't know if they will make it. And holy moly, we got a huge raid from the spammy guy. Yo, uh, Winke everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome. Thanks a lot for the raid spam. I appreciate it. Um, I'm currently in the explanation for uh, the upcoming cast that I'll be doing because I will be casting the German qualifier of the Royal Nation Cup, which is going to be really, really interesting. I can summarize uh, the format later again. I'm quickly going through all the players that are going to play today. So I'm just going to uh, continue doing that. Uh, but definitely make sure to stay here because that qualifier is going to be hella stacked. 
Because out of those 20 players that registered, um, only three people are gonna survive and gonna make it to the German team. So uh, we're gonna have some nice royal action coming up later. Um, yeah, let's just continue going through. Of course, the top five players should all be known to you, I guess. Um, then uh, it gets a little bit difficult. I'm not sure uh, who Noobie King and Stormy Noob Gamer are. I think they also just played in the Super Royal against us, I think. I think they were actually in the final of the Gold Division as well. So um, definitely not bad. No idea how much they practiced. No clue. Absolutely no clue. Maybe they are godlike, maybe they won't be, we will see. Uh, Kicks definitely also an old school royal player, I know him from back in the days. Should do pretty well, I guess. Uh, Maggi, no idea honestly. Maverick um, is definitely also one of the best German royal players. Um, I remember he always builds those uh, practice, match, uh, practice maps that you can find in that one club. So Maverick is probably gonna be um, a very good contender for the top three as well, I think at least, we're gonna see. Um, Mute X, no idea, we will have to see. Uh, Giuliano guy and also uh, Lorenzius, the two brothers, um, could be really interesting. Uh, Giuliano, for those of you that don't know, um, kinda started playing Trackmania with Royal back in the days. I don't think he's still actively playing, but um, I saw him practicing on stream the one or other time, so Giuliano is definitely prepared and we all know he has the potential. So Giuliano could be a serious contender here as well. Uh, Hayom, similar to people like Kix, also old school royal player, he is surely prepared as well. Uh, space launch, no idea. Same for Unbolzen. And now we have someone um, who might be uh, really important, uh, which is Sombot. Because Sombot, according to Lars and Marius at least, has practiced his ass off. Also, Lars told me earlier during Cup of the Day, that he was on the practice server, on the official practice server for the RNC today for six hours straight. And apparently Sombot is like one of the most prepared players of the whole tournament. Not even only of Germany, but like of the whole tournament. So like if he really gonna if he's really gonna play as good as people uh, think he will do, my man is gonna win the qualifier 100 percent uh, But of course, um also a lot of pressure on him, so um yeah, let's hope he didn't overpractice himself, because that can also be a bad thing. We will see, we will see. But Zombot, like if he is not in the top three, boah, that would be uh, that would be weird, honestly. That would be weird. We're gonna see though. Uh, Keck Dreams, I didn't know that he was playing actually. A uh, really good player, especially on certain map styles like off-road maps. He's really good. Backwards maps, he's really good. Um, no idea if he's practiced, but in theory he get, he got the talent. And then we also have Noxterad and Ideal Line. Um, or ideal linear in German. Uh, about them, also no information on my side. No idea if they will uh, if they will do good or not. I have no clue. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Um, I would say I'm gonna explain the format once again for those of you that have just tuned in. Uh, I prepared a very nice uh, paint document, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, it's it's a rather simple format, not too complicated. But this is also only the German qualifier, of course. So. Um, the very fancy matches are gonna happen in a few weeks then. But basically, the way it works is, we are gonna play four royal matches today. For those of you that don't know, one royal match uh, consists of five royal maps, as you can see, which means we're gonna play 20, <laughs> we're gonna play 20 maps overall today. The map pack only consists of 10 maps though, which means we're gonna play every map twice. Um, yeah, and basically on every single map, um, people are gonna be able to earn points and in the ending, the people with the top three highest scores are gonna be in the official German team. The very important thing is though, um, we are not gonna play in a trio format, how it usually is in Royal, but instead every player is gonna drive for himself. So for example, uh, let's, let's take Lars. Lars is also gonna participate today. Lars, um, in the first Royal match, uh, on the first map, let's say, um, he basically, uh, yeah, on the first map he just survives, second map he survives, third map he survives, fourth map he survives. So Lars would be in the grand final because of that. And that would mean that he would already uh, have some nice points guaranteed because you still have this kind of knockout system. So if you are last on map one, you are not gonna, you're gonna be out of the first match basically. So you wanna survive as long as possible. And then in the final, in the ending, there's going to be a linear point format. So overall, we have 20 players, which means um, the winner of the first match is going to get 20, second place 19, 18, 17, etc. So pretty, pretty simple usually. 
So yeah, uh, basically it's normal royal matches, but everyone is gonna play for himself, and you get points the longer you survive. And in the ending, the top three will be on the team. So yeah, shouldn't be it, it shouldn't be too difficult. It shouldn't be too difficult to understand. Um, we also have I don't know if I can quickly give an overview about that, but as I said, um, we have ten maps in the map pack overall. Um, most of them are new. Uh, where's my OBS? There we go. Uh, you can see them over here. Um, the maps are all divided into different styles. Uh, so for example, Springboard, which is an old map, is like about bumpers. Escalator Box is, I think, a moving obstacle map. Royal Skylands is like with some reactor blocks, kind of. Overkill is the dankest map you will have ever seen. Like this map is absolutely crazy. We have a plastic map. We have a magnet map, we have a pipe map, we have, um, what was this again, like, uh, I don't know, like crazy flips and shit. We have an ice map as well, and we also have a tech map. So basically, uh, all styles that you can think of, which are like common and royal, are gonna be played today. And, uh, yeah, so we have, like, the winners will, like, if you want to win here, you will have to be good at pretty much everything. Alright, uh, let me quickly check if I can already join... The server. Um, how do I even join? I didn't even check it yet. <laughs> Should have maybe done that before. Ah. Wait. Someone tagged me in the Discord says and said we convinced Spammy to raid Grenady. Yeah, good. Yeah, uh, hello. <laughs> nice. Okay, anyway. Um, how do I uh, join the server? Question mark. At Kira. I know, I, like, originally I wanted to play as well, but since the new Team GL maps were released, um, I decided to just not put the time into that and instead just practice the Team GL maps. Join the practice room and the club with the password provided in the Germany channel. Okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Um, am I in the Germany channel though? I don't think I'm in there. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, hello! I have a problem. <laughs> I don't see the Germany channel. Uh, admin! Uh, hello! Castor needs password! Help! Kira type 1 in chat? <laughs> I need password. Och nee. Or is there any of the Germans playing that can uh, quickly give it to me? Okay, Kira is here. Okay, never mind then. Alright, so start is in seven minutes, ladies and gentlemen. I think um, approximately it is supposed to take around one and one and a half hours. So we're gonna play. So we're gonna be busy until like 22:30, roughly, if everything goes fine. So not too long, not too short. Gonna be nice. Gonna be nice. Grenady not German confirmed. Uh, no, I'm I'm very German. But today, like for once, I'm not a player. Today, I'm the caster. <laughs> Uh, and yo, TV Bida, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Of course, if you still have any questions about the format, about the players, about the maps, um, feel free to send them in the chat. I will try to answer. Of course, like, this is not like the most professional cast, so it's not like I prepared multiple days and hours for this. But I can try to give the information that I know. So if you have anything, just let me know in the chat, of course. Beow, beow. Okay, I received the password in the meantime. That pa oh my god, what's that password? <laughs> okay, password is already plus plus. Uh, now let me just make sure to not leak it. Not as if I would ever leak a password for a tournament or anything. Nah, 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 nah. I never did that. Couldn't correct incorrect password. Yeah, that is fantastic. Hello. <laughs> yeah, what is that then? Okay, now it works. All right. What is the password? Yeah, man, I can sell it. Oh my, look how this looks like. All the German flags. <laughs> that's, that's very rare. Very unusual. By the way, uh, this is only like, there are barely, like, you know, uh, in Trackmania, there are a lot of national tournaments taking place here and then. For example, SRK is hosting a lot of them for the, for the Baltic, um, for the Baltic uh, region, for example. There work. There are cups for the uh, French community, for example, but for Germany, um, there haven't really been any tournaments. There only was the German Trackmania Cup in 2021, uh, but other than that, uh, it's very unusual to see like uh, 
Germany-based tournaments. I mean, of course, this is now only a qualifier, but it's still pretty interesting to see so many Germans at one place here in Trackmania. But I would say we're gonna hop into the game now. You can already see the players slowly but surely joining the server. They will, of course, get um, put into one uh, team, kind of, or they're gonna put, uh, they're gonna be put to an animal. For example, Sombot is the monkey today. And we have Cactreams, the whale, Unbolson, the, the, the parrot. And yeah, I think as soon as everyone joins and everyone, uh, everyone is ready, we should be able to start already. I hope we're not gonna have any delay, of course, because uh, usually I'm not streaming that late. Why is it not a whale? Oh, it's a dolphin, rather, right? Dude, this is like so hard to see that. Wait, is that a whale or a dolphin? Huh? I'm not sure. Of course, um, the 20 people that we saw on the website are only the 20 people that have registered. We don't know yet if everyone is going to play. Um, in theory, people were asked to uh, unregister if they're not going to play. But it seems like uh, those 20 people should be playing. But uh, we will have to see. We will have to see. I don't see uh, Doc and Thrasher yet. So... Uh, let's see if we're even going to have 20 players. I mean, if Doc and Thrasher are not going to be there... Um, that is possibly two really good players um, not attending today. Would be interesting. <laughs> we will see. They still have a few minutes though. But I wouldn't be surprised if they're not, uh, if they're not, uh, you know, appearing. Because as Lars and Marius already told me, um, apparently they were not really uh, practicing that much. So maybe they just were like, yeah, no, fuck it, we're not gonna play. We will see. We will see. Wait, the Thrasher is not signed up? Is he not? Let me look at the Discord maybe. Because according to my knowledge and also to the website, um, he was registered. Maybe he unregistered, uh, maybe he unregistered like last second kinda. I don't know. But yeah, the good people are already here. Giuliano's there, Search Tales there, Kix is here, Sombot of course, Lorenzius, Lars, Hayom, Cactreams, Maverick. Most of the people that are practiced are, of course, also here. I think you're confused with Search Tale. Na na na. Look at the... here. Here. Treasure was here. Like, he was registered at some point. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, who knows, who knows. By the way, is it already uh, clear who's gonna cast uh, the grand final and stuff? Like, who's gonna keep casting later, by the way? Also, can we get a winkel from my tiny girlfriend that you can barely even see? Oh. <laughs> you can actually barely even see her. <laughs> okay, one guy in the chat already saying forgot to practice. That is uh, fantastic. Okay, Kira already pinged the missing players. If they aren't responding, I will start. Alright. <laughs> okay, okay. So there shouldn't be any delay, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. We should be starting within the next few minutes, I guess. This is gonna be so fucking sick. True, Tarpor. True, true, true. It actually is gonna be one of the most stacked qualifiers. Like, I heard from Marius, who was casting the French qualifier yesterday, that the French one actually wasn't that stacked. Um, there were only seven players playing, actually. So Germany already um, a little bit more active when it comes down to that. The only other qualifier which was hella stacked was uh, the Dutch one. And who won the Dutch one? It was my boy Torpor. So yeah, the, the Dutch also, the Dutch is also really, really active in the royal community. You also have people like Intellectric, Clover. Uh, it's crazy, there are many, many, many. But also Germany definitely could be a contender uh, to win the overall dings in the ending. So we will see, we will see. Alright, maps are already getting queued here, so I think that is a sign that we are gonna start soon. Of course also, uh, one thing that I didn't mention yet, this prize pool by the way, in case you didn't know, ha uh, this, this prize pool, this tournament has a prize pool of $800 right now, so there is actually a lot on the line. The winner of that could win more than me in the previous Trickmania Grand League season, so uh, that is uh, quite something that people can win here. 
And uh, yeah, I think we're about to start. Once again, a quick format explanation in case you guys forgot about it already. We're basically gonna play four royal matches now. And people want to survive as long as possible in those yep. royal matches. And the longer they survive, the more points they're gonna get. And in the ending, the three players with the most points will be qualified for the German team. Uh, also very important to mention once again, every player is playing for his own. There are no uh, trio teams here, basically. It's just solo players this time. So that is a bit uh, unusual for Royal, but uh, that is how it works, at least in the qualifier. Okay, I think we are already on the first map. It is called Flipping Gravity by Max Chess. Maybe some of you guys um, remember that one uh, track of the day that we had like two or three months ago. Um, which was uh, the same scenery style and also by the same mapper. So he kind of he kind of built a cup of the day map, but also um, a royal map here. And this one was I, I also discovered all the maps at some point. I should remember most parts, but not everything, of course. But I think this map was pretty good and pretty skill based, and also not that difficult in comparison to other maps, at least. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Wait, join the team. Do I also have to click onto a team or what? Wait. I'm in the team, man. Yeah, zack. You can even click onto a team where there's even... There, uh, huh? Go out? Oh. Huh. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, uh, huh? Now you're playing? What do you mean? I left again. Huh? I'm not playing. I'm casting. Hello. Didn't you listen? <laughs> or should we play, guys? <laughs> Grenady, the surprise guest. In before, I just practiced full tryhard the last two weeks. Now I'm gonna wreck everyone, surely. <laughs> yeah, where's Doc? Doc is apparently not playing by the looks of it. Doc is not playing and Treasure not playing. Uh, do we miss anyone else? I'm just... Uh, wait, let me, let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 players only here. Only 13 out of the uh, 20 registered players. So quite some people missing actually. Okay, okay. Starting in two minutes. So we are apparently not waiting. I guess um, those two have not answered or have declined. I don't know. So uh, yeah, only 13 players actually. Instead of the registered 20, but ain't too bad, ain't too bad. Where is Schwaba? Actually a good question. Like Schwaba also one of the absolute OG Royal players. I still think he's one of the players with the most Royal victories overall. But he's actually not playing. I don't know why though. I don't know why. Who knows. Hmm. No clue, no clue, no clue, no clue. <sighs> What's happening in the chat here by the way? Oh, Megalu. Who is on which team? Everything is so confusing. There are no teams in this. People are gonna... This is only the qualifier and the top three of this is gonna be in the German team later on. But in this qualifier, everything... Everyone's gonna play uh, for himself. So it's one-man teams, kind of. Very important to know. Alright. Kira says, uh, I am going to start now. So I think... Yeah, we're gonna start, ladies and gentlemen. Map one, or well, first of all, the first match, of course. And now, map number one, Flipping Gravity, built by Maxtius. Three people are already gonna get knocked out onto this uh, on this first map. So let's maybe follow Maverick here for the white section. It is pretty simple, basically one looping and one uh, quarter pipe or half pipe, kinda. No one will fail on the white parts, I guess. At least not people that are practiced. So, until like blue, red, we're mostly not gonna see any mistakes. Also green here, rather simple. A few people a little bit behind already. There are some small gaps, but everything is still possible. Like mostly royal maps are of course decided on the black and red maps, mainly. Oh, Space Lauch here going for... Yeah, what did he go for? I don't know, but he is the only one that has made a mistake on blue here. So that um, puts him into a very awkward spot already. Let's see if he can make it in the second attempt. No? Alright, let's go on to some other player, because I don't want to jinx him any further. We also see some respawns on red already. People are finishing here by the looks of it, but also the one or other crash already. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. 
And it seems like Cack Dreams. Oh my god, Cack Dreams. <gasps> How did he finish that? Holy shit. Alright, that was that was uh, that was close. Holy moly. Alright. So now Cack Dreams here on the black section. A lot of flips you have to do, a lot of reactor boosts you have to pay attention to. Flip to the left here, flip out, and now a speed check into the finish, I think. Yes, and Cack Dreams has it, and he overtakes um, yeah, some other people, and Cack Dreams should be in. At least uh, the way it looks like right now. Oh, okay, ideal linear here with the crash. What about uh, the stormy guy? He is doing uh, something. Is he gonna finish though? If he finishes, he could overtake the panda guy. The, the ideal in the guy and he could be saved so very important that he finished this now it looks good yes okay so stormy with the overtake and it looks like unbolzen is probably in the mud and for space lauch and ideal line it looks very very difficult right now disable metals oh yeah let me just wait let me uh, just disable open plant in general super sorry guys super sorry all right let's see can stormy finish this here Ay 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 ay! No, he can't. But uh, yeah, Ideal Ninja just finished his first black rotation, which means Stormy should be safe here, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna have the first three KOs already. It's Ideal Ninja, Space Lauch, and also Unbolzen. All right, GG goes to them. First map done. Okay, what is the next one? In the meantime, by the way, Maverick first place, Lars on second, and Sombot in third. So the Lars guy doing pretty good. Interesting. Maverick also, and Sombot as well. Yeah, but of course, uh, the most important thing about this format is to just survive every single map. It's it's kind of like Cup of the Day, you could imagine. Like, uh, it doesn't really matter if you win every single round, if you just crash out then at some point. You want to survive until the last map, basically. That's the most important thing to get the, the good points in. Alright, we are on the next map. It is called Dark Horizons. I think this was like a little bit of a magnet-based map. Let's maybe follow Lars here for the white section. There is a quarter pipe jump to the left coming up into a risky finish. And everyone is getting that by the looks of it. Alright. Let's see for the green section. Search here currently in last place. Going for the overtake here though, so it looks good. Another quarter pipe jump here. Search jumping very far. Now a plastic part and I think into the finish here, yes. And we have a respawn, I think, on green. I don't know what Giuliano did, but he lost two seconds. And for Giuliano, it would be uh, not so good to go out now because he is one of the favorites. So let's see if he can catch up. He, need, would, he would need to overtake two people. So let's take a look. Bit of a weird blue section here. He is getting it quite nicely, but he didn't overtake. Huh? No way. He respawned too early. What the fuck? Ah, Giuliano! Why are you respawning at all? You cannot respawn abuse here. Ah, no way. Okay, and his brother is also in the mud. Lorenzius and Giuliano are brothers for those of you that don't know. Let's see if he can finish this now. Magnet jump here. Okay. The, the brothers are in the mud. Giuliano with the overtake though. Uh, if he can catch two more, he might still be able to survive. I'm not entirely sure how difficult the black section is. Let's maybe follow um, Giuliano here. Let's see. Jump through the hole here. Jump. Slide to the left. And now jump here and onto the pipe. Giuliano is risking like crazy. He even gets the risky reactor boost. He is catching up a little bit, but it is not enough to survive by the looks of it. The others, if they also have the scoreboard enabled, they know that they can just save. Because Giuliano can only overtake at this point if people fail red. Uh, fail black. Oh, we have a respawn here by Lars! A respawn by Lars, ladies and gentlemen. Cack Dreams also had to respawn. Let's follow Lars. He, it's very important that he finishes now. He doesn't get the risky finish. Where's Giuliano? Giuliano overtook already and Lars is now on the edge here, but it doesn't look like he will get overtaken and Giuliano actually saved his butt there very, very nicely. And it looks like uh, he's safe. Lorenzo sadly out though, same for Stormy and also Keck Dreams. They all had to respawn at some point. Holy moly, holy moly. Boah, very scary situation for Giuliano because getting... That low amount of a point, uh, that low points in the first match 
could have been almost the early decider. Alright, Maverick, Hayom and Zombot in the top three here. So Maverick with the second win in a row, Zombot with the second third place in a row. Okay, okay. But yeah, very scary situation for Lars and Giuliano, but um, both managed to save themselves. But you can already see, like, we're only on map 2, and people were almost out with one single respawn. Like, okay, it maybe wasn't the most difficult map, but that is uh, already showing how scary this is. And now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna come to the ice map of the map pack. This map looks insane. And it also is insane to drive. You will you will see. Let's maybe follow Marius here. The white section, of course, no problem yet. Ice slide to the right here. Simple U-turn. As long as you can ice slide, you will not fail this. And uh, yeah, Kicks actually lost a second here. That's not too good. But everything can be equalized in the black section. You will see. The black section is way too dank. All right, risky way here on green. Sombot getting it very very nicely. Kicks also surviving it, so no major mistake so far. Let's follow Kicks here on the blue section. Downhill ice slide to the left, a 180. Wanna keep a lot of speed onto the dings here. Now ice slide on this here as well, and now you're gonna get the dirt soup. Kicks is getting it really nicely, but everyone else got it as well, and Kicks didn't really catch up anything. Let's see about red. Through the water, don't wanna water bounce. I slide to the left, going down 360, I think you also even have to do this. Look good by kicks, but I also didn't really see anyone else that didn't get it. Never mind, we had a respawn and it was by Giuliano. Giuliano is once again in danger now. Having to respawn on red is definitely not good on this map because, uh, yeah, you don't really want to lose time before black. But let's see, it's still possible. If he finishes, um, if he, if he finishes uh, here uh, black, it might still be possible. You already see, very dank, you have to turn around and go backwards over the dings. Now ice, like to the left, with a bumper, a 360, and now a very, very difficult skill, uh, skill, uh, what? Ah! <gasps> Giuliano with the overtake! Oh my god, how close was that? Jesus Christ. Holy, okay, that was like millimeter. And very important by Giuliano. We had a few respawns. Search tail barely surviving here. Who is out? It is Marius. It is Hayom. And kicks right now. Hayom now with the finish. So he, if he gets another rotation done, might be able to overtake. But for Marius and also for kicks, it is looking very, very difficult here. Kicks is making it now. Okay. Marius should be 100% out at this point. So that is uh, sad. He is making it now though. And Searchtail just finished his second rotation on black. And with that, it is pretty much set in stone that Hayom, Kicks, and also Marius are gonna be out. And that is um, quite a surprise, at least for Hayom. Because Hayom, if you guys remember, was second place on uh, the previous map. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Giuliano, of course, once again with the Omega save. So Giuliano is uh, living on the edge here. I don't know why though, he's like he's always uh, getting it back on black, but often doing a mistake apparently on the easier maps. Maybe he's risking too much? I have no idea. Boah! Okay, 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 okay. So Lars survived, but we already lost our boy Marius. That's of course uh, sad to see for the OK Boys fans. But yeah, I think that map also uh, one of the most difficult ones, at least the black section. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now we come to the actual most difficult map, Overkill. I think all players can agree on this. This one is hella difficult. You can already see it on uh, the white section. Like, the white section, for the white section, is already insanely hard. Like, it's not too unlikely that people... No way. Uh... Lars interview? Oh my god. Okay, Lars is... I don't wanna really call it, but Lars is a little bit in the mud. Uh, quick notice, guys. We're only gonna have two KOs this time. Let's just follow Lars here. So the second map is an ice map. Not too difficult here. Wanna land and ice slide to the right. Now a dirt snap at the exit. And then you have one of those icy tire uh, dirt things is here. Just make sure to wanna not slide out here. Lars is getting it, but he is 16 seconds behind. Blue section is already difficult, especially because you have wet tires here and you need to survive. Lars is risking crazy and it is looking difficult for him here. 
In the meantime, you can see the others on the red section already, which is way too dank. Let's see if Maverick will survive here. It looks good right now. Will he get the finish? Yes. Okay, so Maverick will survive. Lars still on blue. I think we can already call... Yeah, Lars is... Uh, Lars is sadly in the mud. He had to risk a little bit, though. But it was too much in the ending. Okay, but we still have a close fight here going on. Giuliano, Maverick, and Zombot. And Searchtail are fighting here. Searchtail maybe with the first finish on black? Yes. Okay, that's very important from him. Let's take a look at Giuliano. Will he get the bug slide? E yes, and he will overtake uh, Zombot. But Zombot also just finished. So now it is actually, it is actually Maverick who is in the mud. Maverick didn't finish black yet. And that is looking... Not so good for him. It, it's actually pretty much GG because he would need to finish twice now to overtake someone. I don't know if that's possible anymore. But yeah, this black section is not easy. Uh, you have a backwards part first with a very difficult to judge quarter pipe jump here. And after that you still have this backslide finish which is way too dank. Maverick should finish now I guess. But as I said, he's now only at 5 points and... He would need to finish again now, but there's not enough time, so we can call GG to Maverick and also uh, to Lars. I mean, nah, not too bad performance by them, but I think both of them uh, were wishing for a little bit more. But when you get 5th or 6th in a match, um, you can still make it overall if they do well in the uh, next matches. But okay, only 3 players remaining. It is Searchtail, Giuliano and the most practiced player apparently, Sombot. Okay, we have two more maps, I think. Let's see what we have next. <sighs> Alright, the next map is going to be... Which one? It is... Springboard. Springboard, um, arguably the easiest map in the map pack. This one is about pure pace. If you do one mistake here, you are in the mud. So this one um, might have the closest races that we'll see. People going for a side jump here to gain a little bit of time and you already see it on the white section. People are within three hundreds of a second. Here, small air break by Giuliano to have a little bit more ground contact. Easy jump with the bumper. Here you want to make sure to not clip the border. Giuliano doing it pretty much perfectly and bringing a small gap between him and the others already. Now here, a wicked start, double backflip. Currently in last place we have Search Tail. Let's see if he will be able to overtake. This ending here is a little bit scary if you don't get far enough to the right or left. <gasps> and I uh, I don't know if you saw it, but Sombot has hit the uh, has hit the finish ring. Ay 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 ay. And that um, yeah, honestly, that should be GG because you will see it. The black section is really not that hard. Both surviving red here. Let's take a look. So black section, uh, bumper to the left or right. Then here, this is just a straight jump. Little bit of precision here, but yeah, even for keyboard players, easily doable. The only hard thing is to finish them, which is a little bit weird. But if you practice this, um, it should be it should be easily finishable. True, my camera is blocking the dings. That is actually really bad. Um, okay, wait, guys, quick fix, quick fix, quick fix. Uh, I'm just gonna move myself over here, I guess. Or maybe like here. Ah, okay. I'm just gonna go here for now, guys. It's a bit, it's a bit weird, but I'm just gonna go here for now. Yeah, bottom left is good. All right. So there we go. I don't think we missed anything. No, both players survived. Uh, Sombot is of course one rotation behind, so people would have to crash for him to go out, but it doesn't really look like it. Wait, is this the last map already? I thought there was one more. Huh? This is the last map already. The winner of this is actually going to be the winner of the first match I saw. Okay. Currently it seems like it is going to be uh, Giuliano actually. Which is very interesting considering uh, how he played this match. And how often he was close to being knocked out. But in the ending this is kind of like the cup of the day format. And the same rules apply. When you are in danger once you have higher chances at winning. You all know how it works. Suck and Giuliano cannot finish again. But in the ending, Sombot on third place, Searchtail in second, and Giuliano with the first victory. Okay. 
Maybe a little bit unexpected, considering how shaky Giuliano was, but in the important moment, he managed uh, to keep his nerves cool. So, well-deserved victory for him. And yes, I can mirror my camera. Wait a second. Uh, 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 uh. Alright. Uh, because it looks a bit better when it's on this side. Alright. Next map, ladies and gentlemen. It is... Uh, next, not next map, but next match actually. So we already saw the first five maps of the map pack, but now we're gonna see um, the next five basically. So another five new maps. Scoreboard has been updated. Let's take a quick look here, maybe. This is how it looks like. Giuliano, of course, with the first place. We had 14 active players, so Giuliano, as the first pl uh, first place, got 14 points. And then it goes all the way down. Search Tail, Sombot, Maverick, Lars, all still in good positions. Also, Hayom and Kicks. Um, still doing good, still a possibility to win, but other than that, um, maybe the bottom half could already be difficult to be in the top 8 in the ending, uh, in the top 3. So we're gonna have to pay attention to that, but yeah, for the top 3, 4, 5 players here, definitely um, a good beginning. So yeah, let's see, next match coming up, 5 new maps, same players of course, same format. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Of course, now on the different maps, it could be that we see uh, different players going out early or late. Um, because, you know, like maybe the one or other player has the one or other map where he's weak on, while the others are strong on that one. So we could definitely see different results now. We will see. First map is called Escalator Box, and that one was my um, personal least favorite one. Uh, because it has like these moving blocks here and this is really really weird to drive You see people are risking it like crazy because they know how to do it, but uh, trust me. This is not easy Okay, we already see um, quite a big gap from space Lauch here. He lost three seconds on the first map He's also going really really safe trying his best to not die which is better than going full risk and dying obviously. Oh Yeah, not like that. Yeah, but uh, huh? Dude, my man went full speed. A Giga Chat. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, looking bad for Space Lauch already. Let's see if he can maybe... Oof. Okay. Space Lauch is... Uh, yeah. A little bit in the mud. Oof. Come on. You can do it, Space Lauch. Now. Yeah. Go slow. Yeah. Zack, there we go. He got it. Alright, nice. <laughs> Okay, um, other than that, we have Anbolzen in the red position right now, um, and also Stormy Noob Gamer. Let's see. Will they both make it? It. Ui, ui, ui. Ai! Ai, ai! Oh, that hurts, that hurts. Unbolzen with the overtake on Lorenzius, actually. Lorenzius with a mistake. That is not so good. William. Lorenzius is risking way too much! Not going for any speed for the jump, and that might be the very early and very surprising knockout for Lorenzius. That is not looking good. Most of the other players have already finished their first rotation on black. And Lorenzius is still on red here. Let's see, he needs to overtake someone now. There are still some people that haven't finished this, but black is not the most difficult section ever. So, if they finish once, it could be looking really bad for Lorenzius here. Unbolzen is now the only one who didn't finish. <gasps> oh, what a save! Holy shit, very important by him. Boah. Okay. Hoi, hoi, hoi. But I just saw. No, Lorenzius is still on red. Okay, Lorenzius. Uh... Okay, never mind. Lorenzius is deep in the mud. Lorenzius is deep in the mud. And with that bottom three position, I think it is already safe to say. That he is not gonna end up in the top 3 in the ending, which is surprising because I thought he would be one of the best players. But yeah, maybe he just got unlucky with the one or other part and got nervous then. Who knows, who knows. But yeah, Ideal Linie, Unbolzen, all saved here. Very close though for Stormy Noob Gamer. He is out. Stormy Noob Gamer is out because he finished 300s behind um, the, the orange player, kinda. So that was actually a very close call. Holy moly. Wait, wh huh? Wait, what happened in the chat? Wait, I wanna read, hello, go away! Man, scoreboard! Ah, in no way. Wait, what did- wait, I think Lorenzius said, uh, I surrender. Did I see that correctly? 
Mann, let me see the chat game. Nadeo, I just wanna read the message. I surrender, don't wait for me. Good luck, have fun on the next maps. I mean, understandable move by Lorenzius because with those two performances in the first two matches, it is not possible anymore to, uh, yeah, to, to survive, basically. So, uh, yeah, there is not really a point at playing anymore if that was his only goal, so, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have two mistakes on white section already. There is a risky finish here. I guess people went for that, which is not that good of an idea in the qualifier because you mainly want to save and also kicks with a very slow start, I think. Or? Never mind, I think I just saw it wrong. Sombot has made a mistake on green, though. This map is very interesting because it has difficult risky finishes. Um, but in the, like, the risky finishes are mainly for the later stages of the event, where you have a three-man duo, uh, a three-man team. Because, uh, yeah, you know, like, imagine later you have a three-man team, you can tell one uh, teammate to go for the risky strat and the other two can maybe save it. But in a solo format, if you fail, your entire team failed, obviously. And you don't want that to happen. Somebody here with a very safe blue section, but also with the overtake. Who is in the mat here right now? Marius with the overtake. Very important move by him. And what do I see here? Search Tail is currently in danger, actually. I don't know if he can still catch that up. I hope for him he can, because Search Tail, um, yeah, a ninth place would be very devastating for him. So let's see if he survives the red section. That is looking good. Oh, I just thought he went... Oh my god, I just thought he was going to go for the risky finish. He is overtaking Panda, and Panda is ideal linear. So Surge Tail um, looking safe right now, but it's not entirely safe because he is getting chased by Cactreams. Cactreams here with the overtake. Let's take a look at Surge Tail. Will they both survive here? There also is a risky strat on this map, but I don't think anyone will go for it. Surge Tail going for a side jump, and he is out. What is about Maver uh, What is about here, Dings guy? Did he make it? I don't know, I'm confused. Yeah. I have no idea if he made it. No clue if he made it. Uh, but I think he did, right? I'm so confused. Spectating Royal is so exhausting. Holy shit. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a raid by Lucas Toby. Thank you, everyone. We're currently in the middle of the German qualifier for the Royal Nation Cup. Uh, I can explain you guys how it works uh, later again. But currently we are in the middle of a match, so... Just enjoy the Royal action, I would say. Uh, we still have one available slot. Oh! <gasps> Maverick? Boah! Maverick, one of the strongest players, actually survived. And that is honestly lucky. He survived without finishing a single black rotation. Whew! That would have been uh, very, very unlucky for him. Or like very, very bad for him. Because, yeah, like a ninth place in the one or other match um, will make it a lot more difficult to be in the top three in the ending. But he survived, therefore uh, kicks actually went out. Also one of the better players, so that's maybe a little bit surprising. But, uh, yeah. Why are you not playing? You are royal gods. Uh, I could have played, but I didn't really want to invest time into practicing the maps. So I just didn't do it at all. <laughs> Alright, next map is called... Um, Skylands, I think it's called. This one is pretty interesting. It's not the most difficult one, if I remember correctly. The white section here is pretty much, you want to get a good turn here, and that is about it. Zack, everyone doing that. Not a single mistake here. Let's take a look at green. You want to jump out here, get a smooth transition to get as much speed as possible. Then here, getting a turn without releasing, and then just a few jumps and into the finish in the ending. Also, don't really think anyone is going to fail that. Nope. We still have a very close race. All eight players within less than three tenths. So blue is where it gets a little spicy because that start jump can go wrong and I did see a respawn there. Gotta see later how it works. Let's first... Lars with the low jump as well! Oh yeah, yeah. will everyone make the risky finish? Uh, the risky finish jumps here. It does look like it, but we had two respawns overall. Lars and Giuliano again! Giuliano! Dude, Giuliano is living on the edge, man. Lars is gonna get it now as well, but this is looking very, very difficult for him. I don't know if he can catch up here. We will see. Let's follow him on red. Um, first of all, you have a jump here, which is a little bit dangerous. Then a dirt wall ride with reactor boost, so you don't really need much speed. And then you pretty much only have to full speed the jumps coming up here. Not too difficult. I don't think we will see any mistakes. Giuliano will probably make it as well. Yes, he will. So Lars not able to catch any position here right now. 
It is all about black, ladies and gentlemen. And black is, um, I remember, I only played for like five minutes and I could already tell that black can be driven in a way that you can finish every single time. But what did I see here? Keck Dreams. Keck Dreams had to respawn. I don't know what happened to him. But there are three players right now that haven't finished the black rotation yet. Giuliano is the first one to do so. Keck Dreams will make the jump now as well. And Lars as well now. But there is a gap of around six seconds here. So those three players, if they want to survive, they do need a crash. Will someone do him the favor? Search tail really going really slow here, but you really don't need that much speed for the finish jump. It is pretty doable consistently and everyone is making it. No chance to catch up for the other three. There is maybe one more rotation they could possibly finish, but I think Giuliano is actually too far behind. I think it is pretty much over for him. No, everyone getting it, but they have a 10 second gap. And they don't have enough time to finish. So that is a GG for Lars, for Keck Dreams, and also for Giuliano. So the winner of the first match is only on place number 8 in the second match. Which means he only gets uh, 6 points, 5 points, something like that. So uh, yeah, it was looking really good for him in match 1. But now after match 2, that is uh, a dangerous situation for him, honestly. That is a dangerous situation. Okay, Sombot though with the victory, Maverick in, Marius on third place as well. So good for those players, but uh, for Giuliano especially, um, difficult, difficult. How does the point system work? Yeah, maybe a small explanation for those of you that just joined from the raid. Um, basically, four royal matches are going to be played overall, and the longer players survive in this royal match, the more points they're going to get. And at the end of the four royal matches, the players with the the three players with the most points will survive. All right, next map is called Pipega, I think. Uh, yes, which is basically a full-on pipe map. So let's see how this one goes. Pipe uh, maps, of course, always a little bit scary. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna see the one or other mistake here. Maybe not on the early sections, but on the later ones for sure. Everyone surviving green here, as far as I can see. Yes. Alright, Search Shell currently in last place. Let's see what he's doing on blue. Getting a smooth transition here. I saw Marius had to slow down a lot here. Now speed check, landing in the quarter pipe. Oh, Search Shell not with the best line. But he is surviving. Did Marius make it as well? Yes! Okay. So far, not a single mistake by anyone. Okay, pipe to the right here. Oh, someone had to go for an awkward line there. I don't know who it was. I think it was Search Shell actually. Now quarter pipe jump to the left, need quite some speed here, need to keep the speed as well to get the jump here, but Marius clips and Marius has to respawn. And I think that is the early GG for Marius to be honest. Unless he does some miracle on black. We'll have to uh, pay attention to that. Search tail is still chasing his opponents here. Let's see, will he make it? You wanna jump out here, zack. And now onto the pipe, need a lot of speed here to survive that. Basically have to full speed the pipe to get onto the reset. And then you have a crazy flip here. You can do two different flips. Everyone is going for the risky and everyone is making it. Never mind, Hayom had to respawn apparently. He's going for the safe way now. But with that, Hayom uh, has a six second gap. So he kinda needs to hope now. Ui, 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 ui. okay. Let's see. Yeah, Marius uh, is still on his first rotation on black. He is 100% out, I think. That is not looking good for him. But let's maybe pay attention to Hayom. Hayom really slow here. <gasps> so, okay, search tail finished. Everyone made their second black rotation. Hayom making it as well, very important. He might still have a chance. He can finish one more rotation. If he makes it and one of his opponents doesn't, he might be out and what did I just see? Search tail had to respawn the start. M Hayom is now officially ahead of him. If Hayom finishes this, he might be safe. He might have enough time, but he has to get the run of his life. I don't, oh, I don't think it's enough time. I don't think it's enough time. Four seconds, it's not enough. He's not gonna make it. He was missing like one second. Oh my god, that's so unlucky. No. And Hayom has left. Oh, mega lul. Oh, he would have overtaken. Search tail. Search tail, my man was living on the edge. Holy moly. Hoi, 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 hoi. Why no risk? Actually, yes, he didn't go for the risky strat. That's actually, that's actually true. Like, why did he not go for the risky? That's interesting. Like, I mean, uh, even if he didn't practice it, that was his only chance, actually. 
Boah, okay. Anyway, hi, I'm out. Um, I don't know what place was he on the first map again. I don't... Uh, on the first match. I do not remember. Let me quickly open it. Uh, Hayom got 8th place on the second map. Oh, that is not looking good for him, honestly. That is not looking good. Whew. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Could be difficult for him to still make it. Also, actually, what I just noticed, we could also just go uh, good old 16 to 9 here. Maybe a bit nicer to watch for you guys. Oh. Okay, now we play um, the map called Techie Town, which is supposed to be a tech map. Uh, it's probably one of the easiest maps in the map pack, so we will see some really, really close races here. But let's see. So, somewhat currently in first place, doing good here, getting the risky finish, no problem for him. And Search Tail once again with a gap, two seconds behind the others. That is looking uh, a bit dangerous for him. Because on this map, catching up two seconds could really be an issue. Because not even the black section is very difficult. But let's first of all see if everyone survives red, of course. Oh! Sombot? Uh... Okay, I don't know what Sombot did, but he failed red. I think he kind of failed... Yeah, he must have failed at one jump. Yeah, that is... Uh... That is most likely GG now. Like, that is one hell of a gap because red is relatively long. So, phew, I don't think he can survive this anymore. So let's instead uh, pay attention maybe to the top two here because Search Tail is still fighting with Maverick. There is a two second gap though, so... Yeah, catching up two seconds on this one, kind of difficult. So Maverick would almost need to make a mistake for him to survive. So let's see. Good lines by Maverick here, perfect outside line. Now the downhill right drift, wanna have a lot of speed for the Risky. Yeah, looking good for him, he's getting the Risky again. Dirge still getting it too, but he's just not catching up at all. Yup, 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 yup. That uh, looks good for Maverick here. Getting himself some juicy points apparently. If he survives, one more run here. As long as he doesn't miss the finish now, he... <laughs> this is, uh, like, come on, man, really? Uh, there, there ain't no way. <laughs> there ain't no way, what the fuck? As if he actually missed the finish there. Oh, Omega. Okay, Maverick with the Omega throw. Uh, I mean, not too bad, though, but he is losing one point there, so... Ooh, yeah, was a little bit unnecessary. <laughs> like, imagine that if that one point in the ending costs him the top three, that would be uh, 10 out of 10 funny. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, GG to Germany, of course. There we go. Search Tail winning map uh, match number two here. So good points for him. And I think... Uh, oh, he only was fifth on the first map, actually, as far as I can see. Or which place was he? Oh, I don't know. He was second in the first match. We already have the updated leaderboard. So Search Tail second in match one, first in match two, which gives him a total of 27 points now. And that is looking pretty good for him. Then we have Maverick and Sombot tied with 24 points. And then a little bit of a gap to Giuliano and Hayom. Also Lars and Marius um, still within reach, honestly, um, but they kind of need to hope now already. They have a six and seven point gap to the top three. So mainly um, we have to watch on Giuliano and Hayom now. And of course also on the top three, because if, for example, Search Tail gets knocked out on map two now, um, then uh, yeah, he will uh, quickly jump down the leaderboards. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, even Kicks, maybe if he kind of has the biggest RNG ever, could still survive. But I think we can already say uh, GG to the bottom five here. They will, um, yeah, they will not be able to get into the top three anymore. I hope they will still play though, because yeah, that's kind of like sportsman behavior. So we will see. We will see. Ah. Of course, we're gonna play with one player less now, or because yeah, Lorenzius uh, has quit. But uh, yeah, other than that, I think yes, everyone's playing. Okay, very nice. 
All right, we start on match number three once again with Pipega here. Um, so now, of course, we have seen every single map once. So now uh, we're gonna see the ten maps again, basically, but in a different order, of course. Uh, yeah, first map of the first match here, or of the third match, uh, is Pipega. Let's see. How good do people feel on the pipes? I think we already saw three mistakes by Ideallinie, Spacelauch and Unbolzen. Looks like they're all making it in the second try. Yes, okay. So, 10 second gap though, that is not so nice. But maybe they still have a chance, we will see. Oh! I, uh, wait, why did he respawn? Wait, why did... Who? Huh? Wait, why did he respawn? Couldn't he... Uh, huh? My man could've just gone for the finish, right? Or am I stupid? Huh? Isn't the... F can't you just... Oh no, okay, never mind, you can't. <gasps> I see, okay, he actually had to respawn. Okay, my bad then, my bad. Space Lauch, uh... Going for the pool climb. Yeah, Giga Chat, but that didn't really work. Okay. That is, uh... Unfortunate for him. A little bit. <laughs> okay, how is it looking like here? So we already saw some respawns here. Kicks already had to respawn. I think Hayom had to respawn as well. Oh, okay, he made it. Whew. Hoi, hoi, hoi. That was uh, scary. <laughs> okay, um, I see Marius is on the edge right now, but there are three people that are still on red here. Kix is making it now. And Kix is definitely still on pace to uh, maybe overtake someone on black. Same for Ideal Linie. What about Space Lauch? Space Lauch finishing now. Okay, so everything is still possible. We already see um, the really strong players finishing, or like the, the people that uh, drove clean so far. Finishing their first and even second black rotation, but some players still uh, on the first one. So Maverick for <gasps> Maverick with the penalty. Oh, that is dangerous for him. He might get overtaken now. Maverick is at the start and Maverick is choking. Maverick is feeling the pressure now. Stormy is falling down. There are still people that haven't finished the black rotation. Kicks will finish it now. Okay, it is very important for Maverick that he. Maverick, is someone finishing? Oh my god, Maverick with the Omega Luck again! Maverick is still in without finishing black a single time. Holy macaroni! Maverick is really living on the edge today. He's the Giuliano on Wishman. Like, holy shit. Woo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was very lucky. He only survived because he finished um, the red section earlier than the others that didn't finish the black section, kinda. In the meantime, Sombot first, Lars on second. High on, on third place. Okay, okay, okay. Whew, I'm so stressed for Maverick. Yeah, kind of same. Like, uh, oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Maverick is in one of the uh, kind of intense spots in the global ranking right now. So uh, an early knockout now could be dangerous for him. Wait, I just noticed I'm in the wrong. Oh my god, I was in the wrong scene all the time. Dude, am I stupid? What the fuck? That's why there was no chat. Dude, holy shit, I'm such a bad streamer. Yeah, my bad. I was in the desktop scene all the time instead of my in-game scene. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so the chat is now also uh, on now again. <laughs> there we go. Alright, uh, we're back on the Springward map. One of the easiest in the map pack. So every single mistake here could be very, very painful. And we already have the first one and it is by kicks actually. Not sure what he did here. But I guess he failed one of the jumps in the ending maybe? No clue. But that is uh, not so good for him because, yeah, you even saw the black section. Um, it is difficult to make mistakes there. Let's see, let's maybe follow Lars. Lars is currently in the red, but you see all players are close here. Lars is only 0.4 behind the very first player. So it is still possible. Clean section here by him. He's making it and he is also overtaking. And I saw a respawn. It was by Keck Dreams. Keck Dreams had to respawn and that could be the GG for him. Unbolzen in the meantime is still close to the others here. If someone finishes, uh, fails to finish jump, he might be able to overtake and someone... <gasps> oh my god, it's so close though. Hayom. Hayom is not very safe. With a good run, Unbolzen could still overtake. We will see. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Okay, dangerous, dangerous, but he survived. But will someone eventually fail the finish jump? That is the question. Ooh, I think everyone made it. Yes. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Unbolzen landing in the ring, barely making it. 
As long as he survives, he is still fine, honestly. He kind of needs to hope. He cannot catch up two seconds here by driving. That's impossible on this map. He just needs to hope, basically. Alright, how is it looking? I see the finish is flying in. And one person had to respawn. It was Sombot! <gasps> no way! No, 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 no way. <gasps> no way, Sombot failed to finish. Oh my god, this is so bad for him. <gasps> no, 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 no. Yeah, Sombot is out. There ain't no way he's... What? No way. Kicks as well in the mud. Unbolzen is finishing and that is the GG for Sombot. Sombot is actually out on 8th place, I think. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That is a very, very dangerous for him in the global ranking. Ay, 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 ay. But as I said, this map is super easy. Every single mistake can be extremely painful. Somewhat only on 8th place and we will have to see uh, later at the end of the match how the global ranking is gonna look like. Oi, 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 oi. That is actually very dangerous for him because he lost a lot of points with that. He might need a really, really good last match to even have a chance at still getting in. Puh. Oi, 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 oi. If Lars, Marius and Sombot don't make the cut, a former winning team doesn't even qualify. True. So in the first, like this is already the second edition of the Royal Nation Cup, for those of you that don't know. And in the first edition, um, the German team, which was consisting of Sombot, um, Marius and Lars, uh, actually won the entire thing. And if it continues like that, they might not even qualify. That's interesting. Okay, now the dank map. Lars is looking good this time. Okay, very important for Lars. I think it would have broken his mental completely if he would not have finished but actually no mistake on white some gaps here two seconds okay but that is about it and marius failed the first jump okay no idea oh, 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 oh god hi oh moved the small slide out but he survived okay okay very important and he is getting in what about unbolzen unbolzen getting it marius on his way as well marius on this difficult map is not out necessarily but he needs to survive blue especially. Blue is, uh, I played this as well, blue is extremely difficult. It is so hard, especially, like honestly the blue section could be a black section. Not even kidding. So let's see how it's looking like. Maverick had to respawn. Search tail is finishing now, very important. Slow, but important. Oh, and it would be very important. Maverick is going for the risky and he is getting the risky. Okay, very important for him. What about Marius? Marius going safe, of course. Let's see. Unbolzen is, I think, in the mud, but Marius still has a chance. Now the red section. Ice wall right into dirt wall right. Hayam had to respawn, but Marius as well. What about who else respawned? Maverick? Maverick is making it. Okay, it is a battle between Hayom and Marius. You see both of them here. Both of them getting the grip now. Will they both get the risky finish? Oh, yeah, Marius is very shaky. What the hell is he doing? Marius. Oh. Both getting it. Okay, this is a race. This is a race. 1.5 seconds. Not even. Actually, only one second between those two. Marius jumping to load. That is not so nice. Hayom is getting it, though. Two players. Three players already finishing the black section. Let's see. Hayom looking good here. Who else didn't finish yet? Maverick. Maverick and also Marius, of course. Let's see if Maverick gets the finish. Okay, Mary gets it. Very important. What about Hayom? Hayom getting it as well. And that is... Okay, Marius is still at the start. And I think with that, we can sadly say bye-bye to our fellow OK boy here. Marius uh, is probably out. Because, yeah, he is one entire rotation behind now. And that is pretty much impossible to catch up. Let's see. Lars is in as well. Yeah. With five, you should be in at this point. So, let's see. Maybe Maverick finishing another one here. He has three seconds. Nope. Too low of a backslide, but it does not matter because two people did not manage to finish the black section and those two were Unbolzen and Marius. But I got a call, a really big GG to Unbolzen. He was, I think, always out on map 1 in the previous matches, but now he got 7th actually. So, uh, actually, good job by him. My man definitely improved. Okay, Marius out though, and I think with that, um, we can pretty much already say GG to Marius for, uh, yeah, he, I think he is out of the, the fight already for the top three. So, uh, that is not so good for him, of course, but, uh, yeah, I mean, Marius also didn't practice that much, so, kinda expected, I guess. Uh, one player we definitely have to look out for, though, is Lars, because Lars, um, if he gets a good position here now, and with good, I mean at least top three, so surviving this map, um, he might still have a chance at the top three. 
So let's see. I saw a respawn on white by Maverick. Oh my god. My man probably jumped too low in the finish or something. Oh, 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 oh. You definitely, like, no matter what map you play, you don't want to lose 8 seconds on white. Yeah. No, you don't want that. But it is not over. It is not necessarily over. Let's take a look at Maverick, maybe. Let's follow his career with great interest. Because if one player respawns at any point, Maverick is there. As long as he is not uh, pulling a Granadi, of course. AKA uh, making a mistake after another mistake. Everyone made blue, still a 7.5 second gap here. The other four players are within half a second only. So very, very close for him. Okay, chat saying full trust in Maverick. Let's see. Ooh, everyone made it again. Will Maverick make it? Plastic, speed check here. He is making it, but the gap is still the exact same. 7.6 seconds now, 7.7 .7 seconds. But now black. If Maverick consistently finishes Black now two or three times, with the Risky maybe even as well, he still might have a chance. No respawns coming in here. Never mind, there is a respawn by Hayom. <gasps> oh, 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 okay, Hayom is in the mud, but Maverick needs to get another one. Maverick got the five. It is a seven second gap. If one of the top three here, Giuliano, Lars, or Searchtail, is making a mistake, they. <gasps> Lars! Oh, yo, yo, yo. Lars went so far inside. They know that they can save. They just need to make this jump. Both clipping, but both surviving it. Very, very important job by them. Maverick is finishing, not getting the risky here, though. He can finish one more time. The top three needs to survive one more time, and they are safe. Will they do it, though? Giuliano is miles ahead. Giuliano has it. What about Lars? Lars... Has it. What about Search Tail? <gasps> Wait, but Maverick's at the start! What is happening? Why did Maverick not drive? Oh my god, what? My man, he probably made a mistake and then he uh, couldn't finish anymore. Oh, no way! But if he would have, if he would have consistently survived Black three times in a row, he would have been in because Search Tail. Failed at one jump, and that was also very lucky by Search Tail, honestly. Because, uh, yeah, with that, he gets another uh, top 3 position secured. And that means he at least gets top 3 in the first 3 matches already, because he got uh, second, first, and now at least top 3. So for Search Tail, it's looking hella good. Okay, going on to the last map for match number 3. What map is it gonna be? As I said, uh, still very important here for Lars to maybe win this match here. Because if he wins it, he might have a good chance. Also Giuliano actually. Giuliano was only on 5th place after that uh, rather not so good performance in the second match. So those two especially... Oh my god, they go risky. Holy shit. Okay, Lars went safe I think, but Giuliano and Search Tail, they don't know anything. They just go like risky. They just go like, zack, I have it. Okay, green sect. No one going risky here, I think. <gasps> Lars going risky and Lars making it! Giga chat! Giga chat! Giga chat! Okay, Lars with this balls of steel. Holy shit. Okay, and once again, we have a close fight. Oh, Lars going really slow on the pipe. That was almost Mario's level. What happened there? Everyone goes risky here. What is it about Lars? Lars is making it. A okay, everyone made it. Okay, okay, okay. Giuliano with a one second gap. The risky finish on red is absolutely not viable, so if anyone goes for that, that would be hella fucking crazy. Oh! And that might be the early end for Lars TM. Yep, they both get red, and Lars is, with that, probably only gonna get third place. And, uh, yeah, I... Uh, it could still be enough. If he gets another match of those, um, in the four... Oh, yeah, yeah. If he gets it, Lars? <gasps> Wait, they all respawned and Lars is in first. If Lars finishes this, he is in first. But Lars didn't play Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. He didn't know how to 50-50 grind, man. Ah, in no way. Okay, Giuliano now. Giuliano on a mission. Will he get it? Uh, will he get it? E okay, Giuliano gets it, and I think Giuliano almost is safe in first place with that, because Searchtail had to respawn, and Lars is still at the start as well. 
Boah, what is happening here? What is happening? What is happening? Mann, Mann, Mann. Okay. Okay, Lars would be very important overtake here. Will he get it? Yes, okay, so Lars with a safe second place now. Okay, Giuliano finishes another black rotation. He is safe in first place. So Giuliano winning the third mat, uh, first match, dying early in the second match, but now winning the third match again. So that is um, a very uh, roller coaster like performance by him. But with this first place, um, he should... Boah! <laughs> that would have been very Giga Chat. Holy shit, almost made the risky finish, man. Boah, okay. Second place from Lois. Very, very important. We are gonna take a look at the global ranking now. And the global ranking um, might look quite different now, especially with the early KO of Sombot and now Giuliano and Lois, um, who were both only like fifth and sixth. Um, they might look really good now. Is it already? It is already updated, ladies and gentlemen. This is how it currently looks like. Search tail, first place with 39 points. Very, very good for him because um, we basically always have to see how far away he's from the fourth place. And that is eight entire points. So as long as search tail is not going out on like the first two maps, he is safe in the top three. After that, Giuliano and Maverick on 35 points, absolutely tight. And then we have three people who are still within reach. Lars. Sombot and Hayom on 31, 31 and 30 points. Those three players, if if any of those three players gets a really good third round, uh, fourth round, and one of them up here dies, those three could still make it. I think everyone uh, below and also including Marius is uh, sadly already out. I think uh, we can count them out. But those top six players are the ones we have to take a look at. Those three really need a perfect one and those three if, as long as they survive long, they're kind of safe. The last match is going to be extremely, extremely exciting. Like, literally everything can still... In theory, even Lars, Sombot and Talion could still make it. If Search Tail, Giuliano and Maverick go out early. In theory. So, still a lot open here. Any of those three players... Uh, of those six players could be in the team. So let's take a look. Players are asked to get ready here. I think everyone is more than ready now. Very, very exciting match coming up. This is those six players we need to watch out for. So, Search Tail, Maverick, uh, Giuliano, Lars, Sombot, Hayom. Those six we really, really, really have to focus on now. And I'm also going to focus on them uh, spectating because, yeah, super important. Okay, first map here is uh, really easy. It is um, Techie Town, I think it's called. And yeah, as I said, one of the easiest maps. But we had two respawns by... No, we only had one respawn by Unbolzen. Okay. Ooh, Maverick did also do a little oopsie here. He is three seconds behind, but it is only the first map. Like, on this map, the one or other mistake is still fine. I'm in the wrong team. Scheiße. Man, why am I so bad at streaming, man? Ah, okay, anyway. Um, we're back in the correct scene. <laughs> there we go. So. Let's take a look. Is any uh, one not making it? Uh, Giuliano? Giuliano interview? Interview Giuliano? What happened? My man failed on uh, blue. That is dangerous situation for him. He needs to uh, make sure to not fall, uh, to not fall under pressure now. He just needs to clear it. As long as he survives, it's fine. And he is surviving and he is already overtaking one and that one is Lars! No way Lars, what did you do? No, 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 no. Lars TM with the skill issue on tech. No. <laughs> no way Lars. Okay, Lars, come on. Stay cool now, stay cool. And hope for the one or other mistake. We know that mistakes can happen on red. Uh, on black. So, making it, making it, making it. Ideal Linie. Ideal Linie had to respawn. That might be the chance for Lars. Lars is only one second behind him. Ideal Linie is the golden ticket to the chocolate fa uh, the factory for Lars here. Oh, and he gets the risky and he gets the overtake. Okay, it is not over now. It is not over. Ideal Linie only 0.8 behind. Lars needs to make sure to not die now. Otherwise, his dream from being in the German team is literally dead. Oh, Ideal Linie not with the Ideal Linie here. Ideal Linie, for those of you that don't know, means ideal line in Germany. Uh, in German. 
Wait! Ah, yeah, okay, that was... Never mind. Okay, Lars is getting it, and I think with that, Lars can move away the sweat from his forehead because he barely survived this. Holy fucking shit. Boah. Boah, boah, boah. We sadly have to say bye-bye to uh, Ideal Linie, Unbolzen, and Space Log, I think. So, GG to them. Definitely appreciate that they played until the very ending. GG to them. Nice. Okay, so we didn't lose anyone uh, in the first map. No one that was, like, very decisive. So, whew. Lars was living on the edge, though, but uh, he is alive. Okay, next map, I think, was uh, Royal Skylands, which is also a rather easy map. Um, with the upside-down reactor part in the black section. Boah, what will happen here? What will happen? What will happen? So, as always, players need to make sure to not have a mistake. Or to not do a mistake, rather. On white, I would be surprised to see any mistake here. Nope. Kicks losing point 0.9 though. Okay. But better losing point 0.9 than losing 9 seconds because you have to respawn. So, all good by him. Stormtrooper, uh, Storm Newbie Gamer, I mean. <laughs> Stormtrooper. <laughs> Stormy Newbie Gamer. What? How is his name? Stormy Noob Gamer. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> also survived with small. Oh no! I saw. No way. Stormbot. Okay, everyone making it. Where is Stormbot? <gasps> no way. Stormbot is dead last. Oh, 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 okay, we are definitely gonna pay attention on Sombot now, because if Sombot goes out now, it is quite like, no, he, no, if he goes out, he's definitely out, because he is in the, out of the six players that can still make it, he was in the bottom three, so Sombot has to get it now, otherwise he is 100% not on the team. Everyone made red though, it is all about black, it is gonna be all about black, he has a gap of... Seven seconds. The top seven here, still without a single mistake. Okay, 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 okay. Let's follow somewhat. Will we see a respawn? We're gonna see the fives popping up here now. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and no one made a mistake, I think. <gasps> Never mind, Sombot. Okay, Sombot catching two people. Important move by Sombot. If one of the top seven has to respawn now and Sombot makes it, he might still be in. Sombot can only preach now for someone to make a mistake. That is all he can hope for. Oh, and Stormy Noob Gamer. <gasps> oh! oh no, he had to re- No way. No way, no way, no way. Sombot. <gasps> Wait, Sombot got overtaken by kicks? Somebody is in. <laughs> Boah! Holy shit, man. Wait! Wait, what is Giuliano doing down here? Huh? Wait, what happened to Giuliano? Uh, huh? Wait, uh, huh? Wait, what is Giuliano doing here? <gasps> no way. Wait a second, that's terrible. Uh, stop. Okay, wait, quick update here. Giuliano was sitting on 35 points. And now, bad position for him. Oh, 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 oh. If Sombot, for example, or Lars survive very long now, they might easily be able to overtake Giuliano. <gasps> ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Boy, Giuliano with a really roller coaster like performance. Like winning two matches and throwing two matches. Boy, this is so intense. Anything could happen still. Holy shit. This is only the qualifier, guys. This is not even the actual tournament. Boy, holy moly. Okay. Whew. Okay, now the, the factory map, escalator box it's called. This one, as I said, I absolutely hate. So if I was a player here, this would be my least favorite map. But sadly, uh, uh, not sadly, luckily, I only have to cast, so I don't have to play this. Marius, um, yeah, with a very slow green section here. He's making it though, but Marius, uh, we don't really have to pay attention on him because he is out of the race either way. And actually, fun fact, uh, out of the six interesting players, five are still in the top seven. Only Giuliano said bye-bye a little bit too early here. 
Oh, we saw a lot of respawns on blue, actually. Searchtail making it very slowly, and Lars is in danger. Oh, 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 oh. Lars is in danger. If Lars wants to be in the team, he needs to get at least, like, top three or so. At least. Or maybe even win this match. Like, he needs to survive. He is in a fight, though. Searchtail is not far away. This jump can go wrong if you have the bad gear, but both people get it. Okay. But we saw a respawn. A respawn by Keck Dreams. Okay. Lars and Searchtail. <gasps> Searchtail with a respawn. Okay. What about Keck Dreams? Okay, Keck Dreams had to respawn again. Okay, Keck Dreams is years behind. I think. Um, I think as long as there aren't any mistakes happening now, it should be safe. Yeah, Lars even overtaking another two people because Hayom and Searchtail. Dude, Searchtail is honestly so lucky that two people are so far behind. Holy moly. Oh, but Marius is now on black. If Searchtail fails again and Marius makes it, Searchtail might be out. But I think Searchtail um, would be high enough in the ranking to already be safe because he is far in front. Okay, he makes it now. And that should be enough for him. So I think we can already congratulate Searchtail for uh, being in Team Germany because he is at 39 points right now. He has an 8 point gap to 4th place and with that we can give a clap to Searchtail because he's the first player that secured himself a spot in Team Germany for the Royal Nation Cup. Very nice performance by him. He's not he's still playing but just saying it now already. Uh, first three matches very safe playing not too many mistakes. A little bit of luck here and there gotta admit. Uh, but yeah. He was so far the best player and he's also gonna survive now. Sadly, Marius out, same for Keck Dreams. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, um, there are uh, five players now uh, still in and all those five players are kinda interesting. Especially because we're gonna take a quick look at the leaderboard again, guys. Giuliano, only six points. Only six points. And um, yeah, Lars, Sombot and Hayom are having the fight of their life. I think, I don't know if Searchtail and Maverick are maybe in as well already? No. Wait, uh, ah, too difficult maths. No, like, but if, no, if, if Maverick or, no, wait, huh? Huh? Maverick is safe? Is he? Ah, my brain! Okay, I'm, I'm confused, I'm confused. So, I think Maverick is safe, right? Yeah, Maverick, Maverick, okay, okay, wait, so, listen again, guys. Stop. Maverick is safe. But Giuliano is probably out and he can get overtaken by Lars, Sombot or Hayom. So Lars, Sombot and Hayom are now fighting for the very last spot, I think. Okay, I got it. I got it. Show the map. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> okay, so we're on the ice map now. We're only on the green section. We didn't miss anything. So Hayom, Sombot, Lars. Those are the people that are fighting here. Hayom in red. Who else is in red? It is Surge. Okay, Surge tail doesn't matter. We can completely ignore him. My man won already. Okay, GG. We focus on the others. And this section, of course, um, yeah, this can go wrong. So, let's see. So, a mistake early on here is not necessarily decisive. Okay, there's only a two second gap here. Let's just uh, stay with Hayom for now. Because he's currently in the fight with Lars. 360 coming in from the players. Everyone pulling a Mika. Looking good. Lars making the jump clean as well. Same for Hayom. And we had... No, we never mind. We didn't have a respawn. Everything good so far. <sighs> okay. So, red section. Red can go wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no, black section already because... Uh, yeah, dude, I'm stupid. So, turn around. I slide left onto the bumper. 360. And now you need good speed. <gasps> Lars had to respawn. Lars had to respawn. Lars had to respawn. <gasps> And Hayom is making it, and that is looking very, very bad for Lars. Oh, no, 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 no. I think Lars is in the mud, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Lars would need to finish. Oh, my God. Even Searchtail is still here now. Wait, Searchtail is still in the fight, actually. Searchtail could potentially steal the chance from Hayom here with some nice driving. Okay, never mind. I think he's too slow. Yes, okay. Yeah, and Lars is at the start. That is the GG for Lars. Lars is not gonna be on the team, ladies and gentlemen. Lars is actually out. Okay. Oof. Yeah, there's no way. No, nah, there ain't no way. He would need to finish twice. No, there's not enough time left. It is Hayom, Maverick, and Sombot. 
And ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's quickly pay attention to the scoreboard again. Sombot and Hayom are in a fight. If Sombot finishes ahead of Hayom, he is safe in the team. If Hayom finishes one place ahead of Sombot, um, they are tied. I don't know what happens then. And if Hayom gets first and Sombot third, he's in. Dude, I'm so confused, man. This format, holy shit. Okay, last map, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about the last map. It is going to be Flipping Gravity, the map that we saw at the very beginning of the first match. Boah, 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 boah. Okay. So if Sombot, Sombot with the better uh, position here, because he has that one point lead in comparison to Hayom. If he finishes ahead of Hayom, he's in the team. Boah. Can you tell me who the tie, uh, who would win the tiebreaker, guys? Okay, let's pay attention. We can ignore Search Tail. Uh, we can ignore Maverick. Maverick is safe. Okay, everyone making white. What about green? Jump here. Jump here, go down early enough. Everyone making it. Everyone within a tenth. Oh my god, what is happening? Okay, Hayom. Oh my god, Hayom would win the tiebreaker. Which means whoever finish like whoever is first out of Hayom and some boss uh, some bot is gonna survive. Whoever is ahead of the other is gonna be in the team. Oh my god. <gasps> Someone with a slowdown. Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? <gasps> it was Hayom. Hayom with a small slowdown. Will he make the risky though? That's the important thing. Yes, okay. One second gap. But that's Maverick. Okay, never mind. Okay. Hayom. Hayom and Sombot. Hayom is chasing here. He needs to catch him, otherwise he is not in the team. Oh my god. He needs to catch him. Will he survive? Yes. Maverick also still there. <gasps> no way! <gasps> no! Sombot making it, but Hayom is in the mud. That is... That is GG, guys. That is most likely GG. What is Hayom doing? Oh, Hayom is going for speed, okay. I mean, it's not entirely over, but it is kind of over. Yeah, Hayom is uh, freestyling around. Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Team Germany here. Sombot, Maverick, and Searchtail are going to play for Team Germany. Hayom sadly with the mistake on black here, and yeah, Sombot in the meantime already finished another um, rotation. So it is a GG. Boah. But pretty interesting though, like Lars and Marius said at the beginning that Sombot is by far the most practiced player and that he completely no-lived and still he was on the fucking edge. Like, he was so close to not being in here now. Oi, 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 oi. It would have been sad for Sombot, true. It would have been sad for him. But I mean, it's also sad for Hayom, kinda. Like, Hayom also played well. But yeah, that is the GG, ladies and gentlemen. Hayom sadly missing it by a hair. Uh, what is with Giuliano? Yeah, Giuliano is uh, out. He kind of threw on two matches, sadly, and he's not going to be in. You will see it again in the leaderboard now. Is it updated yet? No. Never mind, it is. There we go. Search, Tail and Maverick tied with 49 points in the first place. Both did a really good job. Uh, no bad positions at all. Then Sombot um, only had one bad match. Match 3, that early knockout actually almost cost it to him. Other than that, always in the top 3. Uh, 44 points, and then we have Lars and Hayom tied on 42 points. Sadly, not enough. <laughs> Lars saying that was the worst Royal I ever played. Yeah, unlucky, man. You still almost made it. Sad. That's yeah, mainly the 8 points here that kind of ruined it, I guess. And yeah, Hayom also on the edge here. Also, Giuliano, of course, close, but you see Giuliano 14 14, but then only 7 and 6 points in that other match. So, uh, yeah, kind of sad for Giuliano, but uh, he was just, yeah. I don't know, I don't even know if you can say that he was playing too risky, but in the ending he just made, yeah, a few mistakes too much, and sad for him, sad for him. Oh, Giuliano's also in the chat, I threw that one map twice, my worst map, literally one of the first maps in the rotations. And which map was that again, Giuliano? Yeah, but like, Team Germany is, like, uh, Germany is really stacked, like, there are more people that played the qualifiers that would have deserved it than there are slots in the team. That is just, uh... 
sadly how it is. Gotta be honest there. Alright, but that is the GG for the Germans here. Search Tail, Maverick and Sombot are your German players to cheer for in the playoffs. Um, I'm not entirely sure when the playoffs are taking place. I can take a quick look though, uh, because I guess most of you uh, enjoyed the cup here, uh, because at least I like I really enjoyed watching this. Like, holy shit, this was giga intense. Um, let me quickly take a look, or maybe Kira can also quickly tell in the chat. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I will cast anything else. Uh, no idea. <laughs> maybe we can talk about that at Kira. No idea, or if the cast is already set, uh, I have no idea, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, they're of course gonna be the playoffs now. Like, this was only the, like, you have to imagine. This was intense as fuck, but this was only the qualifier. Like, holy moly. Like, from now on, the real uh, Royal Nation Cup is only gonna begin, because now, in the future, uh, here. April 7th and main event April 8th. Yeah, those two dates. Um, there... Uh, 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 yeah, there will, there you will see the actual uh, nation cup, basically, like the different nations uh, fighting against each other. So uh, yeah, it's gonna get even more intense. So you will see the best royal players in the entire world playing, uh, playing against each other. Wait, Germany will skip playoffs and go directly to the main event. Oh, okay. And yo, Maverick guy, GG man, you played really well. GG, my friend. GG, GG, GG.